Welcome to the Ping Plotter tutorial series. In this episode, we'll be covering the two main components of Ping Plotter's interface, the timeline and trace graphs. When a trace is started in Ping Plotter, all of the statistics are displayed in the upper portion of the program, which is referred to as the trace graph. There are a series of columns here, which can be rearranged by clicking and dragging them around. They can also be resized by hovering over the edge of a column and clicking and dragging. And additional columns can be shown or hidden by right-clicking anywhere on an existing column. The latency column provides a graphical representation of each hop's response times. If there's any packet loss present for a hop, a red bar representing the packet loss percentage for that time frame is displayed. If you need an explanation of what information a column is presenting, this can be accessed by hovering over the column header. The timeline, which visualizes latency and packet loss over time, is located near the bottom of the program. In Pingplotter Standard and Pro, you can scroll back through previous data by simply clicking and dragging the graph back and forth. The time frame on the graph can be adjusted as well. Just right-click on the graph and select a new preference. The graph itself can be resized by hovering over the top portion and clicking and dragging. And additional timelines can always be opened up by double-clicking on a hop in the trace graph. For more information on the graphs in Pingplotter, or the other components of the program, be sure to check out our additional resources on pingplotter.com.